I'm being told, because I don't know the word yet, that we will all, all of us, will be very surprised that this is not an English word. Welcome to Krautsalat. I am Eric with my special guest Everett. We are both Americans here in Germany. I'm living here, he's quarantined. Um, we're together in Leipzig, doing some talking, some sightseeing, and some beer drinking. It looks like you need another one. I definitely need another beer. Uh, I got that for you. I love ass beer. Oh, yeah, don't, just don't smell it. <laughs> okay, copy that. Yeah. Uh, now, post. Post. We were given a little word game because there's a lot of fun between the German language and English. I understand that a lot of Germans within their language like to mix in some English. So we are about to be given 10 words that the Germans think are English, but they're not. Oh, are these like false friends? Is that what? No. No, okay, I think that, that's know, different. Right? Yeah. Okay. But neither of us, we haven't seen these words yet. So okay. we're going to respond to them as, as we get each one. <laughs> so right. this should be fun. Beamer. Beamer? Beamer. Like a Beamer. Like a See, Volkswagen. Now, no, wait. <laughs> that, no, would be the, that would be the I mean, BMW. BMW. <laughs> not a Beamer, Volkswagen. like the Volkswagen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I clearly haven't had drank enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I've heard this. Um, and they think this is an English word when they say it? I guess so. Beamer. I think, it, I think the Beamer is um, like a film projection, I think. Like a laser Beamer? No, like, like watching like, um, like a projected film. They, oh. they call it a Beamer. Like it's beaming the oh, film. Oh, I see. Like I instead see, of projecting okay. it onto the screen, it's okay. beaming it. They think it's English and it's clearly not. I don't know. I don't know about British. So, oh right. You yeah. guys see then that would make sense if it maybe. was um, a BMW, a Beamer. Yeah, it's a projector. Yeah. Oh, it's a projector. So All it's right. like a okay. film a film projector. A handy. A handy? Okay. Maybe that's a... A handy? <laughs> oh, please, okay. What? Okay, so, so one day, what? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you're talking about a telephone. <laughs> yeah, uh, <I'm> but... <laughs> yeah, a telephone. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm talking about a cell phone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, dude. yeah um, I think that's, uh, they actually say that in a lot of different countries. They call it handy. I do, do they I, call it here a handy? Or um, yeah, I've heard them say Vo "vos mein handy," you know, ah, okay. things like this. Um, uh, I don't think there's another name for it. It's, I mean, f except phone. I mean, but that's more mobile. Mobile, yeah. But yeah. I know when I was in Korea, they called it handy. So I think handy is ah. a very common name for a ah, okay. uh, mobile phone. Here's another one that that really caught me off guard. What's that? Um, public viewing. Are we still on the same <laughs> subject as handy? <laughs> like, Perhaps. Um, they, they've, they've got a district in Hamburg specifically for all that, but not public viewing. The oh, for handies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for public. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I gotta get off the handy thing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I learned that, that they have, like, for the, the soccer, the football games, they, they have, like, public, they'll set up a screen, and it's, they call it a public viewing, where you can watch the games out in public. Oh, wow. Well, it's here's the thing. Cool. I mean, that sounds awesome. It's just, I don't, I wouldn't know this yet because I've only been here since COVID-19 and everything's yeah, been shut down. Yeah, true. And so those might have been just, they haven't crossed my, you know, if if, if the pandemic wasn't around, yeah. maybe I would have come across this. Yeah, but good point. I don't know. Um, that's they, why it's unfamiliar to me. Body bag. Yeah, that's English. Well, a body bag in the U.S. is 
literally a body bag. Now, okay. It's where you put a dead body in, Yeah. carcass. But the Germans are always quite very literal with their words. So what would a body bag be if it's, if it's not the same? The only thing I could think of is if the person's alive. Oh, a sleeping bag. Or Maybe? That would be the only difference. One's for a dead person, one's for a living person that's just... I have, know, I have no idea. ...to take a nap. I, I really have no idea what it means. I'm gonna guess sleeping bag. <laughs> I have... <laughs> oh, no way! A backpack! A body bag? So oh, you, you wear it, it on your body. You wear it on your body and... It's a pack we put on our back. Not rucksack. A bag so a rucksack you put makes on sense. your body. Okay. Body bag. I get okay. It. Fitness studio. Well, See, I, I, I know this one because I go to one. So yeah, it's a gym, isn't it? Yeah, it's what yeah. we call a gym, which like, gym short for gymnasium. A gymnasium in Germany is is a school. Oh, that's right. You can't say gymnasium in, in yeah, Germany. Yeah, it's, it's something that's totally right. different. So that's like right. in the US, I would go to the gymnasium to lift weights or play basketball or something. But here, it, I mean, you, honestly, you'd be I don't going even to say gymnasium. I don't know anybody who says they just say that's, gym. That's so old. OK, so fitness studio is a gym. Yeah, that's OK. I mean, I, I, knew know, that one, I might yeah. want to call that from now on. And it, it, it makes it, it makes sense. But yeah, no, bring it home. no one calls it that. To me. <laughs> Honey, I'm going to the fitness studio. It should be like, what? <laughs> Do they have beer there? <laughs> yeah. In the uh, U.S., an old timer is is an old an dude, old, old guy, <laughs> or oh, yeah, dude. Usually, yeah. Typically, you, you, you wouldn't don't call a woman no a grandma old timer. Yeah, I think if you did, it would be very disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, don't, like, don't call an old lady an old timer. Yeah, <laughs> like calling the old man would be kind of like a little disrespectful, but like not just like yeah, eh, old timer, you know. like. Eh. I mean, it's usually derogatory. Hey, get old whatever, old timer. You know, because they're usually blabbering about something. I think I've, I've heard it used. Is it a Maybe food? Like a, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess like a car, like an antique car. I, I, I almost want to say it's, like, a, it's a type of beer. <laughs> I wouldn't want to drink an old timer. Well, I don't know, man. No, I this think beer is from 1534. Oh, touche. <laughs> okay, right. so an old car. An old it's car. An old timer. All right. Casting show. Casting show? Uh, if there was a couch, then I would know. <laughs> I know. I know what a casting couch is. <laughs> uh, casting show. Is that one of those really cheap German TV shows that you guys got going on? <laughs> cheap? Okay, so this is, I watch like no TV, so. Oh, I watch it, it's fun. There's, there's, like I've watched a little bit, but it, <laughs> it's just it's, casting show. It's a huge difference between America and, and and Germany. Well, I mean, I think basically America is just this total level right here, and every other country in the world has just this other level. I mean, it varies in when it comes to there. TV when and it comes stuff to TV, like TV. It's yeah. just you can just see the difference, and and they show American uh, shows here too. So they'll literally have an American show, and then I'll just go to this really. Kind of what are your thoughts German about show? It's pretty cool though. I mean, I uh, I don't know what they're saying. I just think it's fun to watch. <laughs> okay. It's not the casting couch, but it's something nearby. An audition? It's a talent show. A talent show. Uh, like uh, a talent, talent show. show. The voice. Uh, the casting show. Show master. Um, well, then it, it must be the host of the show. Yeah, got like, to like, oh, perfect. You know? Yeah. Well, we got to. I was thinking. We got to get one of them right. In, but in America, uh, the circus has a ringmaster. Yeah. And so that's kind of what that reminded me of. So like, like, the, like we wouldn't use the show master. It would be the host. Yeah. yeah. The show host. Exactly. But it, okay. Okay, slip well, and, there's, slip there's and, a slip and okay, fall. Okay, well, clearly um, I'm, I'm a little bit more effeminate because I was thinking of a slip. Yeah, see, I actually know that too. It, it's the piece that goes under the dress. Under the dress, yeah. It's like pantyhose, sort of. Um, but like that's, that's the slip that goes under, yeah. Is, is that still the, came to my mind. Is that still the same word? <laughs> yeah? It is. Got it. See, okay, I was, so I was thinking that the, the, slip, the, the slip is like a... Uh, an underdress. No. That, that's that's what I know it as. It's only yeah. The okay. Ah, okay. Make a difference. Be huh? Slip. Okay. Right. Well, that's kind of like um, pants, pants, you know, yeah. in Britain, like you don't 
when I say, I'm, you know, I'm wearing my pants, you know, it apparently means underwear. And your trousers are the outside thing. Yeah. But in America, we say pants. Okay. Underwear, people. I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's related to the word mob, which is kind of like rioters. Um, so yeah, like, mobbing would be getting together and busting shit up. Well, that that would be <laughs> that would be my my thought too. Like a, a big group of people yeah. overtaking something. Right. That's that like would be mobbing. A, a mob mob. That's that's a thumbs down. Fail. Getting, getting a thumbs down Fail. on that one. All right, so if I were to guess. You've been punished, drink a beer. What would, what would we guess if it was German? What's a mop? Mob. Mobbing. Mob. Does it have anything to do with cleaning? I'm thinking of mopping. You're thinking mopping. <laughs> the Germans are laughing, so clearly I'm way off on the, on the cleaning. <laughs> there, is, there is an English word. It's bullying. Bullying. Oh, okay, so it's. Mobbing is the bullying. The aggressiveness of the word is still there. Yeah. Um, but even though we use it differently but, in an aggressive way, um, they use it as bullying. Okay. Evergreen. Evergreen. Okay, well, it's. It's a tree. It is, yeah, like. <laughs> I mean, it is a word, evergreen. Yeah. Oh, there's there's some chewing gum that have a flavor, a mint flavor oh of my evergreen. God, that's right. Yeah. But it's kind of like evergreen. flavor. Um, evergreen. If it, if you could see through it, it'd be ever clear, and then that'd be a nice alcohol. Um, no, that's not a nice alcohol. Yeah, it's a very evil that's, alcohol. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the devil. Um, all right. So evergreen is t is is like a Christmas tree for us. I think of a yeah a tree it's or a, mint. It's a tree. Um, uh, any, anything that's pine. Evergreen. Pine evergreen. is usually like an evergreen. Evergreen. Um, so for you guys, I think there's also a paint. Why am I thinking of a paint brand oh, called it, Evergreen? It, it, you know what? It could. It's also a color. A color? Like, I think I'd see like you know the Crayola colors that have like 500 different colors. Yeah. I think Evergreen is. Oh, in there. I'm sure there is one. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna take a stab out in the dark and say it's a prostitute. I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> That's my stab in the dark was the opposite direction. I was I was gonna say a red brick wall. <laughs> but it's, I don't know. Okay, here it comes. Evergreens means an artist that is never outdated, or a song that is never outdated. Something that nev never gets old. Uh, uh, right, it it passes the test of time. So ah, yeah. So, so that like that makes sense because we use the word green as something being fresh, like green around the gills, like he's oh, he's new. It's so, okay. Ah. Yeah, that okay. I can see that, and ever being very long, um, long time, forever. Um, okay, that like so. Well, like that the that actually makes that actually makes that makes or sense. Or Casablanca is an evergreen. Oh, bingo. Um, the Mona Lisa is an evergreen. That crappy piece of, just kidding. The Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Yeah. Cool. That was interesting. That was very interesting. That was fun. I, I'm, I, I'm actually going to use that for sure. Evergreen. Evergreen, gonna love it. Yeah, I like that. What is it? Metropolis. There you go, how do you like that? I'm using a German movie. Metropolis is an evergreen. My number one. Wow. A, one of the greatest movies ever made from oh, the best the time. Uh, I absolutely love German expressions. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. You're, you're, this, this, is, this is my show. You're showing me up oh, here. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> just gonna all right, that's it. Let's wrap that up. You're, you're done. You're done. That's it. I'm out of here. Fire, Robin. <laughs>